Let me close just one, one, one more thing on this question of sovereignty. Very difficult for a large country to accept that somebody is going to come in, like the United States or like the Europeans, and is basically going to come in and say, you're not doing your regulation in a proper way. Fair game. But what's going to happen when China and India are economies as powerful as the United States or Europe? And what's going to happen when there's a mortgage meltdown in India? What's going to happen when a Chinese hedge fund goes under? And that the results of that tsunami don't stop at the Chinese or the Indian border, but that in fact you find them in Idaho and Iowa and California. Who's going to deal with that unless we're prepared to understand that in fact we're all going to have to give up a little bit of our sovereignty in order to make the world work? I hope that that also is something that the G20 comes to deal with. So those are the issues that I've got to deal with. I think that we are really at the beginning of a very different era. 1944, the great minds of the world, Dexter White, John Maynard Keynes and a bunch, essentially laid the foundations for the Bretton Woods institutions in the United Nations. And they built a system which functioned for over 50 to 60 years. I think that it's time to renew that vision. A very different world than one that they did of independent nation states who simply came together but could ignore essentially what was going on inside those countries, that day is over, thanks to Alan Long. I think we've got to take it one step further. And we've got to say that, in fact, countries have responsibilities to their neighbors. And their neighbors are in every nook and cranny of the world. And I believe that that is going to become the debate of our generation. And it's one that I'm very happy to share with you. Thank you very much.